Uh, this is the sleeve of a cardigan. No, it's not. It's a sweater. Um, I've done the, the welt, the rib, the twisted rib here, cable cast on. And it's a, a knit and pearl pattern I'm doing on it. And I've started shaping the the sleeves. I did a um a video on another channel when I first started putting things up on YouTube. And I started putting other things on that channel as well, so I transferred everything onto a a channel with just knitting on and but I left behind um a sleeve I was shown how to do the shaping on the um the sleeve because it had quite a lot of views and I didn't want to lose those lose those views. So I'm going to do a one to put on my my knitting channel now, which will be very similar to that one and it's this one. And I've already done one or two shaping on it and I'll show you how it's done. With this one I have to um incorporate the the stitches into the pattern. Because it's knit and knit two, purl two across the row. So I'm going to start with a knit, a knit stitch. And I'm going to knit into the next stitch, put the wool over, bring it through, but don't take the, the stitch off the needle. And then you put the needle into the back of that stitch. And knit it. And they have made a stitch there. And that's made two knit stitches at the start. And the extra stitch I've made came out purl, which is what I want for the pattern. Because I'm doing two purl stitches. And then two knit stitches. And that's what I'm doing all the way along the row. until I get to the to the other end and I'll just pause this until I get to the the end of the row and I've come to near the end And I'll knit the last three stitches. And I need to do a purl to keep the pattern correct. So I'm going to purl into the next stitch. Don't take it off. And then I'm going to knit into the back of that same stitch. And that's made the two purl stitches that I needed there. I had knitted two knit stitches here. And there's two purl stitches there. So I now knit two knit stitches. And that's finished the, the stitches off for the row. And so that's, you can see there, where the pattern the pattern where I've increased the stitches over there was two purl, two knit, and where I increased the stitches it made it two purl so it keeps the pattern correct and then two knit stitches. And on this end it was the same on, on this end I had I knitted one knit stitch and the next stitch I knitted into into the front and knitted into the back and that gave me one knit stitch and one purl stitch that was how, how it came out so I had the two purl stitches here to keep the pattern correct all the way all the way along and that's as simple as that for increasing and if it's just plain knitting 
you just knit into the front front of the stitch and then knit into the back of the stitch. You don't have to do like what I did here, like purl to keep the, the pattern correct. And that's it, not nothing to it. Even on pattern, even on pattern, it's easy to, to add them, add the extra stitches. <laughs> 